venous thrombosis we have emq or spa related to this topic as well okay pregnancy is recognized as a factor for uncommon but catastrophic event of cerebral venous thrombosis perhaps as a result of prothrombotic changes and dehydration cesarean section systemic infection vomiting and anemia increase the risk the greatest risk period is third trimester and the first four weeks postpartum Now, headache is the most frequently 80 to 90 percent occurring symptom in cerebral venous thrombosis, and often the first symptom reported by the patient. Now, other clinical manifestation present at onset or developing during the course of the disease. These include papilloedema, focal deficit, altered consciousness, seizures, and cranial nerve signs, in particular diplopia caused by sixth nerve palsy. now psychosis in conjunction with the focal neurological signs has also been reported the development of the symptoms may occur over hours day or even weeks mr mrv is imaging modality of choice this is also sbm not ct ct as sensitivity is only 30% so mrv of cerebral venous thrombosis is shown here now how would you manage a case of cerebral venous thrombosis when cerebral venous thrombosis is suspected prompt referral to neurologist is advised and treatment usually includes the anticoagulation with the low molecular weight heparin uh, should be continued typically for 6 months and if there is neurological deterioration or coma despite the medical treatment then further management can include the endovascular therapy compared with the patients with the cvt unrelated to pregnancy cvt associated with the pregnancy and purpurum tends to have a better outcome with a lower mortality rate a follow up of mrv at 3 to 6 months after diagnosis is suggested to assess for recanalization of occulted uh, occluded cortical vein sinus CVT is not contraindication for future pregnancies but women should be concerned that they are at risk of further venous thrombotic events and will require prophylaxis with low molecular weight heparin during pregnancy and postpartum okay now this is the mri picture of cerebral venous thrombosis now key points imaging of the head in pregnancy The accepted background cumulative dose of ionizing radiation during pregnancy is 50 mg okay and fetal exposure for computerized ct scan of the head is estimated to be less than 0.05 mg mri should be avoided in the first trimester because of the potential hazards of hyperthermia and acoustic noise but mri remains preferable to any studies using ionizing radiation now contrast media based on the element iodine should be avoided in a pregnancy unless essential if iodinated contrast media are used um, the neonatal thyroid function should be checked gandolinium based contrast agents appears to be safe in pregnancy lactating women who receive iodinating iodinated contrast or gandolinium can continue breastfeeding without interruption